Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you an amazing chess game. This game is amazing because Paulsen player with white pieces in this game. He played blindfolded against several chess players at once. Game was played in Leipzig in 1963. Paulsen started with e4. e5 was played. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. Bishop to c4, Bishop to c5, and now b4, Evans Gambit. Bishop takes, c3, Bishop to c5, and white castled. Black played knight to f6, and now d4. So white sacrificed a pawn for quick development. He takes d4. C takes d4, bishop is under attack, bishop goes back to b6, and now e5, trying to chase the knight from f6, black played d5. What would you play now? Would you play bishop back? Would you make uh, the most of unpassant? Uh, white played the right move, he takes f6, opening up the file because king is not safe. D takes c4, and now white has a couple of options. One is rook to e1. He played d5, which looks riskier, because after queen to f6, queen is threatening to capture the rook on a1, and it looks like that rook can be saved. How would you continue in this position? Well, white decided to ignore the threat. He captured the knight. Queen takes rook, and it's white to move again. How would you continue? If you saw rook to e1, excellent. This is the move. This is check. Black played bishop to e6. It is white to move again. What would be your move? C takes b7. C takes b7 is only small advantage. Okay, what's better move? Well, I just want to remind you that a player with white pieces, Paulsen, he was blindfolded. And he saw this variation. I think he saw this to the end <laughs> with his mind's eye because he couldn't see it uh, physically. So first move is rook takes on e6. This is check. Pawn takes and now he wins by force. Queen to d7 check. King to f8, that's the only move. Next move is bishop to a3. King to g8. And the last move is, can you see it? If you saw this one, congratulations. This is checkmate. Very interesting game. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope that you enjoyed it.